Hi there and welcome to the Off Grid Solar Power Channel. This is Milo and I'm Amelia where we talk about practical everyday uses for solar power stations and help you learn how to get the most value and use out of these amazing little devices. If you want some great tips and tricks and creative ideas like these be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything and if you like this video the easiest way to let me know is to throw me a quick thumbs up or leave a comment down below and today we are going to experiment and see how many days this anchor c300 dc power station can charge my devices like my phone ipad laptop and earbuds when i go to bed every night so the test here is to see how long the battery will last without charging it back up so let's get into it so we are starting at 100 percent battery life tonight and i will be charging up my phone and my earbuds only because all of my other devices don't currently need to be charged. So, good night, and I'll be back in the morning to see where the battery percentage is at. So, it's the next morning, and we still have 91% battery life left. So, now we're on to the second night, and we're going to be charging up a lot more devices than we did the night before. So here we have my earbuds, my iPad, my phone, and of course my laptop. And basically all these devices are close to being dead, so they will definitely take a decent amount of time to charge back up. And I'm curious to see how much battery percentage we will have left on the power station tomorrow morning. So it's the next morning and the power station is at 47% battery life. So we did use a lot more battery life last night than we did the first night, which obviously makes sense because we charged a lot more devices last night. So as we're going into the third night now, I want to just briefly talk about how tonight we're going to conserve the battery life by only charging my phone and my earbuds like I did that first night. This will allow for the power station to hopefully get a fourth night by only charging these two devices. Conserving power can be especially important if you don't have a solar panel to charge your power station or if you are, for example, camping in a very shady area and aren't getting a lot of solar input. So sometimes not always having all your devices charged like your iPad or laptop can be the ticket to being able to charge the devices you deem more important and can be a good sacrifice to make. For me, the most important devices that I want charged are my earbuds and my phone. For you, that may look differently though and you can choose what devices are more important to you. We made it through the third night and our 35% battery life now, but we will be able to go on to a fourth night, which I'm super excited about. So tonight is the fourth night, which makes me so happy. A big part of the reason it has lasted so long is because of the battery capacity of this power station, along with the fact this power station is a DC only power station, because DC only power stations experience less energy loss than an AC power station would. But unfortunately tonight, I can't conserve power by only charging my phone and my earbuds because my laptop does really need to be charged. And I also really want to test out the lamp on the power station for about an hour during this experiment. So that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. But you never know, maybe we will get to the fifth night still. So be sure to watch and see if we do. It's the next morning and all I can say is I'm genuinely impressed that we still have 11% battery life, which means we can attempt to try out a fifth night. I'm not sure if it'll run all night for the fifth night, but at least we get to try a fifth night. So because we have very little battery life left for the fifth night, I'm only going to attempt to charge my phone to see if we can make it until the morning. Wow, okay, so it's the next morning and we still have 2% battery life left, which I'm really surprised by. So I will be doing an upcoming video on charging up this power station through solar, so make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing how long it'll take to charge from solar. I'm really impressed it lasted me five days. I did try to conserve power some nights when it was possible, but it's just good to know that if needed, this power station would get me through a decent amount of time whether I was camping or experiencing a power outage 
I'd be okay using this even without a solar panel for a couple of days. Mind you, I do highly recommend getting a solar panel to charge this power station up with as it will give you even more peace of mind. But I don't really recommend the Anchor solar panel, but I have a really good one that I do recommend and I will link it down below. I will also link this power station as well if you want to check it out because I am pretty impressed by it honestly. I'm doing a giveaway of an EBL brand power station soon too, so if you want to find out more about that, click here on this video. And if you want to watch my full review video of this Anchor C300 DC power station, click here. And that's it for this video, guys. Bye!